Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I was just thinking, I am kind of bummed that like, we are potentially, potentially, potential, potentially, can't talk now, I've been doing this for like four hours, um, gonna just like crush a religion, you know, like, or several po possibly, I'm kind of bummed about that, I don't really like it when games do that, really, when they go... Or like, here's this really complicated belief system. Turns out it's all actually science. Or not science, maybe, but like, you know what I mean? Like, it's all, it was all done by aliens. Or it was all done by the people who came before or something. You know? It's like, so there is no god. There is no goddess. It's like, well, that's kind of boring. It'd be cool if we could just live and let live and have beliefs, you know, exist. You know? But... It is what it is. We'll see. We'll see what it act what actually happens here. I'm betting that the whole goddess thing is gonna go out the window. I see you're inside. Ah! I figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? No. I never stopped. I am here to figure out things about my mom. So you just hush your mouth. Or my birth, rather, I guess. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. What's this? Like these look like either child or tribal drawings. That's like somebody, like somebody's hiding behind the robot, and there's like blood and and happiness, and it's like a. Was I freaking, like, born in here and then, like, forced to live alone? And that one's being, like, surrounded by things and is sad. This is the robot that was protecting a small person. There's more over there. Hold on. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? Probably. So this was it. Where you were born. But, but why? I missed it. Database. Yeah. Oh. Birthing logged. Blah blah blah. To, to complete. Gestation. Uh, spawning phase tasking complete. Correction partial reactivation. Standing by alert. Viable zygotes and storage. Okay. some form of Apollo. Otherwise you just pop out babies and no one to take care of them. You know? Unless, did they have, they had robots to take care, didn't they? Didn't they? They did. For the, that's right, for the first ro for the first ones they had that's right. They had like nannies and like parental figures. So here, we've got one that's making a bunch of kids unhappy. It looks like. Or it won't let them out, but it looks like it's not being nice. It's got like a red... Oh! So they knew what was outside. Yeah, this is outside and this is inside. They weren't being allowed outside. But this one looks like... I don't know, maybe these kids died and they were sent away. They... Woo! You know? So they knew what the outside kind of looked like, probably in pictures. So is this like, have the mothers ever? No, they, no, nobody's ever been in here. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is from These when the, like the first generation was born. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi-servitors. These. They took care of the, them. These, or no? There was no one else. 
So the first humans were born with robot nannies, essentially. I mean, I knew that, but like, seeing it in pictures... Nursery. Nurture phase tasking complete. Nutri nutrient stores depleted. Uh, that's no good. Sounds like a no bueno situation. So those in there were like little little cradles, like ICU kind of thing. Oh. Oh, it's a like a little play area. Okay. So this is actually where the first. I wasn't sure if this was like the like just like a personal cradle or something. Maybe, is it the only cradle that, no, it's not the only cradle. This is the Nora's cradle, I'll bet. I bet you there were other cradles that survived. Oh. Is that a, oh! That's one of the robot nannies. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim. I don't want to sleep, mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, 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 in time. So the first uh, humans were insane. I mean, it was an interesting idea. But robots are no substitute for actual human care and actually helping children to grow. Did they have a po so this is kind of weird. Did the kids like rebel and like destroy their nannies? Someday. That's what you always say. Oh, they're say. adolescents. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Oh. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! Yeah, this did not end well. This is not, this is not gonna go well. So it's keeping them from going outside. And they are very, very unhappy. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Well, guess he understands that, right? Why you would hate something like that. A door that doesn't open. Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they come. <laughs> they were maybe happy for a while. I'm sure they had good and bad days. Where they left. It's a mess. Everything's broken or painted on how long did they live here maybe too long and it looks like the servitors did not make it out something went wrong you can't you can't ever predict humans i think really multiple system failure nutrient stores depleted choice but to release you but why there is no food here anymore but there's food out there we don't know for sure come on let's go i don't know mother can we come back if we're cold i'm sorry but that won't be possible you wow. will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other what will happen to you i will stay here and sleep and remember all of you what will happen to us you will be brave, and you will learn. 
Okay, so... Okay, so they, just, they didn't, like, necessarily take them all apart. And they did love them, you know? I mean, they were all they had. The kids loved the, the, the robots. The servitors. It was all they had. So when the mother and the father figures shut down, they just kind of abandoned the, the, the robot bodies. They didn't need them anymore. Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. Oh, boy. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Yeah, I bet you the other areas were, um... Like, Apollo and stuff. They should have been able to get in there. So they, were they just stuck in, like, kindergarten phase, basically? Weird. Oh, and they've got... Oh, it says Pharaoh. All, does it really? It says Pharaoh. Why does it say Pharaoh on all those things? And they couldn't... They could see this, but they couldn't get into it? Oh my gosh. This is where they were supposed to learn. So they learned, like, basic baby skills, and then were tossed out into the world and hope for the best. Like, how did things get to how they are now? Hold for scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to Eurasia, a place of learning. Their whole learning area was shut off from them. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Oh my god. Never realized. Why? Why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head. Just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Hey. If Ted Farrow did this, I'm gonna punch a wall. You're right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. Shut up, silence! I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Hey. Malfunction. Hello, offline. They were stuck in a kindergarten. Like, all of them were stuck. In kindergarten, they had... they didn't even know what this place was, but they knew it was something else. They were stuck in that small area their whole lives. How many of them? There couldn't have been that many. Oh, where am I going? Like the facility just like and it ran out of food. Like, but it was supposed to have taught them things. Like they didn't know how to survive. I'm surprised there was. Anything. I'm surprised that anybody survived. I mean, I mean, humans are accessed. Priority message for Doctor Sobek. Please get message with focus. That sounds important. Mm -hmm. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Oh boy. Text log. Oh what? Repair, repaired, repaired, gestation initiated. Man. Oh, that's so frustrating. I probably, I don't know if those others are the ones or what, also what I needed to do. 
but they were the same thing, so I don't really care. They all repeated themselves. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm probably supposed to stand in that. Yeah. Guy is dying. Dying, please! Guy is dead? Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. If this nature. was done intentionally, I'm gonna blow a gasket. Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. Oh my gosh! The resulting gosh. explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, Harness their technologies to rebuild the system oh, and reboot Gaia. I can reboot oh, you! Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. No! That hold all of them. In place. It, they are so escaping. So each piece is escaping. Where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life no. will end. No, 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 I'm here. No. I did it. I did it. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. Oh my god. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core okay. until Hades is eradicated. Okay. Hades must be destroyed. Okay. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Oh, why am I tearing up with an AI? Woo! So that was basically my mom. I just talked to my mom, essentially. Gaia. Gaia's my mother. So... You're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two. A dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. No. I... I don't understand this ever in clone stories. I don't get it. Destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. Yes. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. I mean, okay, it I seems see you Silence. You have a point. destiny to fulfill. Yeah, Silence so here's, when you're here to slap me. Sorry for yourself. Go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. How did you know that that's where it was? Did she tell me where it was? I was actually getting mega emotional. Like, I was getting mega, mega emotional about that. Because it was like, at the last second, I realized I was staring into the face of my mother. I, I, I don't understand in clone stories when people, when they're like, I'm not a person. I'm like, do you have flesh and blood? Do you look like a human? 
I mean, that's not, you can, you can get into sci-fi all you want. Like, there's what makes humans? Do you have to look like a human? Or is it like a soul? You've got a soul. You're a person. Like, I don't know. Y you've lived as a person. You're a person. Like, what do you mean? I, I'm not a real person because I didn't have a real mom. I'm like, that's sort of, that's dumb. That's like saying, like, if you don't know who your real mom is when you're adopted, you're not a person, which is obviously not true. Like, yeah. Like, you, she was born exactly how the first humans were born. Like, none of you are people if you're gonna go like that. If you're, this is your logic, nobody's a people. Because you all come from a machine. Like, you know? Like, but you all come from people who came before. Like, you're the genetic material of the people who came before. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I mean, like, I could be like, I can see like I how can not having my function rectified. The maybe through one access unsealed. Like not like a traditional mother. Like she's thought her whole life that maybe she did have a like a traditional mother, but she's got two. Like technically, I guess you could say her mom, Soapbeck, is her mom. I think it's more sisters. I think it's more like I think your genetic similarity is more between like a sibling than a mother. But Gaia gave birth to you in response to an emergency, like. I, this is great! Like, you found out who you are, I can see it being a lot to take, to take in, but not your first reaction to be, I'm not a person! Like, that doesn't make sense. Oh boy. Couldn't I just go out the way I came in? Oh, oh. Wait, hang on. Oh, boy. I'm just... <laughs> if you have left me, I was like, if you have left me, no way out of this. Girl. Jump, 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 please. Jump. No, no, no. Jump over there. Can we just... Oh my gosh, how do we do this? Oh my... Okay, cool. I didn't even, like, move much. I just turned my camera a little bit. Yes. Door. So this is not the end game. We have to go fix... Going to be interesting. Oh yeah, now we have to walk back out of the. Cr oh boy, now we have to talk to everybody. Oh boy, they're gonna like start worshiping me or something, and it's gonna be awkward. But why Apollo's been in trouble since way long ago? Why wasn't Apollo working in the beginning? Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy, how? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy! Anointed, anointed of, of the Nora! Nora. All, All praise Aloy! Aloy. Aloy. No, 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 anointed no, 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 of the Nora! Up. All, All praise, praise Aloy! Aloy. Anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora! First you shun me, now this? Yeah, okay, good. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, 
And you're willing. Go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora! Make way for Aloy! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. So she's like, I feel like I can trust her a little more. The others are just like, they're like, oh yeah, but this is like a, this is a good, I'm for, I am forging a path. I, I can, I can be okay with that. And I'm afraid I had to cut it off here. Kind of a weird timing, I know, but we do have a little bit more. We go into detail with the, with the nicer older woman about um, sort of Ross backstory and stuff like that. So there's still some little things we're gonna clean up in this area, but I had to cut it here because it was like 50 minutes long. It was just a little too long to watch in one part, I felt. So we're gonna cut it here. Everything will finish up in the next one, but this has been pretty awesome. So I hope you guys are enjoying and I will see you back on the next one.